standing next to Jonas Stamberg. How are we doing today? Uh, I'm doing very well. I had a great day in this uh, sunny venue. Now it's dark, of course, but still tropical warmth here in the uh, Netherlands. Another time in Holland? Yes, yes. I usually travel here four or five times a year. Uh, sometimes playing, sometimes catching up with friends. Some people think I should move here because I have a lot of friends all over the Holland, I say. Yeah. Holland is not the, one, the, the country where everything is going on right now in the trans scene, I mean... Well, for trans, uh, which I used to do for a long time, like... Uh, very coarse and those guys, you know, the OTS and stuff, that was my heroes back in the Of day. course, of course, it's come from the Holland, but... Yes, 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 but... The scene... It's fading, it's fading, uh, and if you go to um, Poland, East Europe, for example, it's still in the, the, the gloom, the, like, flowering days, you know, there's still a lot of the stuff going on over there, uh, US as well. But for me, it's still um, a lot of Holland stuff and um, something uh, else as well. But yeah. You just told me you're doing uh, a few new tracks yeah, are yeah, coming yeah. out really soon. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you some stuff. Like, I uh, changed my sound a bit. Um, I used to do uh, more of the, the like tech trance the last couple of years uh, because I was a uh, son of a door and been a huge inspiration for a long time for me. And nowadays I try to mix uh, what I love about the big room sound, sometimes a big synth, sometimes just a nasty beat, and uh, mix that with uh, the housey kind of vibe as well. Like Axwell, one of my favorite artists like now. Some French uh, vibe, a little bit of the um, Daft Punk style, but to mix it up, yeah. sometimes with vocals. So that's my new style, it's coming up very soon as yeah. well. Still under the same name, of course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonas Stenberg, uh, everything under my own name, no aliases. And how is your fan base reacting on that? Um, that's, Pretty good? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. That's, I'm curious to see that, man. Because they've been waiting for a while now. I, I, my last single release was the end of your last year. And uh, they've been waiting patiently, anxiously, what I'm going to do next. So um, I'm uh, really confident in myself, but it's, it's uh, up to that's them. That's a good thing. You know, no, no, no. You have to do what you love, you know. And that's, I hope that they can, I can transfer that passion to them. So that's um, a little bit cheesy, but you know, that's, that's what I want to achieve with my new tracks, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, the boys of W&W, &W, yes. uh, I met them uh, last week at Emporium Festival, and they told me, like, you are a genius. Tell me about it. In real life? That's for them. Uh, well, um, it's a little bit uh, funny. I used to do a degree in biotech engineering for five years. Uh, my dad used to do maths and physics and stuff as well, so it's probably in my DNA somewhere. But I've always been like a logical minded person, like I really like to solve problems and stuff like that. And I uh, just enjoyed the, like, the, the way the human body works and stuff like that. I wanted to find out more and what, the best way would to study a little bit of it. And I have a huge, uh, the, my hometown in Sweden called Uppsala, huge student parties every week. You know, it's 40,000 students in a 200,000 uh, people town. So every weekend you can uh, do something fun and then in the week you can uh, maybe read a little bit, go to some lectures. And in the yeah. end just, yeah, yeah. So for me it was just um, a good experience to have and now I have my degree, which is also important in the tough times of this life, you know. So uh, right now I'm doing half-time uh, sales in this field. Um, so every, every time I travel, like last month I went to South Korea playing and we have um, my company, we have a distributor there. So I went to them, did some meetings, some lectures and they were falling asleep of course like everyone on the lectures but it's fun to see it from the other perspective not my own wow. so it was fun but um, combining this is just the greatest that's what I really like is this a thing you want to do keep on doing or I believe it's, it's the music right yeah 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 the music where your heart is it's my real passion and uh, what I learned over the years it's not to overanalyze stuff because I've always been a very logical person, but I try to bring my other side out, especially when I play, to uh, feel the crowd, the people, and just what do I want to do from my heart, you know? And I, I think I proved a lot. That's my own experience of it the last couple of years. So um, I just uh, feel really uh, anxious, like not anxious, but you know, uh, anticipating the future here. Because, yeah, I really hope that what I do now can. Um, can bring me to the next stage so I can uh, slowly quit my job. My boss is really cool as well, he'll find with it. And he knows my real passion. So. Yeah. Well, it comes handy sometimes because Willem or Ward sneezed one time and you can imagine <laughs> why he was sneezing as that. Yeah, these guys, I've known them for three years now. They're so such great guys. Like They're a good combination as well. Willem, 
is always thinking about everything, like almost on the verge of control freak, but you need to be that to reach somewhere, you know, you need to reach the next step. And words sometimes pulls him back and they, they can, uh, they have a good... Uh, great duo, yeah. Yes, yes, great duo, definitely, definitely. Because that's what I feel sometimes in the studio alone. You get a little bit bored yourself and you want someone to like, yeah, just bounce your ideas with them. Yeah. So I send tracks a lot of times to other people, like yeah. close friends, just to get a little reaction. So point me a little right direction. But it's don't, not. Don't you miss it sometimes, being yes. in, being in a duo? Yeah, man. I was, it was, my, Is that why you're collaborating so much? Yes, I'm collaborating a lot because I love it, you know. To uh, share ideas with other people and um, just a social thing, you know. Yeah, I don't want to be a studio caveman. That's not for me. I like. After a while, you just get half depressed. And I live in not uh, like in Sweden, but it's dark all, uh, all winter. So yeah. I need to get out and move around a little bit as well, just for that. Yeah. Okay, tell me, tell me about your summer. I want to know what is this summer going to look like for you. Uh, the next Busy? couple, yeah, it's gonna be both work a couple of weeks now and finishing my new tracks. They're really shaping up now. It's a little bit a mix of everything and uh, just get uh, the the promos out. And I'm um, returning to Netherlands a couple of weeks to catch up with the WW again and make our next call up. Nice, nice, nice. We're planning to do uh, like a bootleg of our, no, some famous club track, something. Haven't decided which one yet, but the one that we both, uh, well, all three of us, love. Because that's the most important, so we can just go crazy in the studio together. Yes, and then probably do uh, another track as well together. We'll see what it's going to be. But busy times. Yes, yes. So that's uh, for the next couple of weeks. Going to the Luminosity Beach party, always great. That's in all Ontario. Stuff as well. Yeah. And not play, just to hang out with friends, having some beers, yeah. experience the good times there. Enjoying life to the max. Definitely. Okay. And then this, back to Sweden, and uh, I'm gonna return to Poland actually for the first time since last year when I played Entrance Festival, which is in uh, some place with a lot of concerts. That's the city name, and uh, now I'm going to Kolobzeg in the north to uh, Sunrise Festival. Really, Sunrise looking Festival. yeah, looking forward to this. Maybe you heard of it, you know? It's, uh, of course. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah, of course. Everybody, knows everyone it. heard of it. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to play there, man. Yeah. It's gonna be huge. Yeah. And the Polish crowd, like last time I played, they had a flag with my name, yeah. and I was already like I wasn't very known at the time, so I was amazed to see that. Yeah. You were very satisfied then. So let's see what you're going to do next time. Maybe a parachute. <laughs> Who knows? You should, you should. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, have a great summer. We'll yeah, see each other very, 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 very soon. So, uh, I'll nice see you soon. Nice talking to you, man. Nice talking to you. Evening. All right, bye-bye. Cheers. Check out Jonas' column on Revived as well. He's doing a column every two months, three months. We'll see. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. check it out. Bye-bye. Watch out. Uh, I mean, that's why. Bye-bye. <laughs>